praise the Lord, saints. Um, Evangelist Michael Thomas. I'm um, out here and I'm just um, waiting for my wife to, to get back in. And I um, just decided to just um, encourage some of the body of Christ right now. You know, the world we're living in, we, we, we're not, we're not going to understand everything. But God understands everything. And when we have him, we have everything. And this race ain't going to be easy. You know, God didn't say it would be easy. In fact, he said in this world you will have tribulation. But to be of good cheer, I've overcome the world. We're in this race, but the race has already been won. Come on, somebody. We're in a race. I said we're in a race, but the race has already been won by the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why he said, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. When you accept Jesus Christ, you've won the race. Because he's, wrong. He, he's already won it. You see, Satan... Who is, I, who is the adversary of the body of Christ and all the children of God? He's already lost. He's a defeated foe. And all those angels who rebelled with him and made that decision to go against the living God, they've already lost. They are defeated foes. But what they try to do is try to blind the minds of people at least the glorious gospel be revealed in them to them he tries to blind people he tries to make you think that he's winning and he's gonna win and that we're nobodies and that you know he's all powerful but he's a liar Jesus revealed and Jesus was God in the flesh Jesus revealed that he's the father of lies He knows that he's defeated and we've already won. But even though we've already won through Jesus Christ, we still have to stand our ground and we still have to do the work of the Lord. Because to live is Christ. And have y'all ever thought about that? To live is Christ means that we have God is still working in us and fulfilling his purpose in our life. You see, the Bible says that all things was made for him. All things was made. The birds was made for him. The fish was made for him. People was made for him. Animals was made for him. But he's so good, he allows us to share what he made for him. He gave us dominion over all of these things. So I want to encourage y'all today. That although our journey may be hard and it ain't going to always be easy. But if you keep your mind on the Lord and know that we're already past the finish line because we've accepted God who won the race. And although the race is hard sometimes. Nothing feels better than crossing that finish line. You watch the races and they racing and it's hard and they, they go through all the excruciating training and things like that. But once they finish the race, once they've won the race, it's all worth it, ain't it? Just like a woman when she's giving birth all the labor pains and all of the contractions and all the things that women go through. But once that baby is delivered and they held, they hold that baby in their hands, it was all worth it. And they forget about all the pain and things like that. And that's how it's going to be when we cross the finish line. When we finally behold and see what God have done for us. When we finally see his face. When we're all on one accord with our eternal immortal bodies. In the beautiful place that he, he has created for us. We're not going to remember all of the 
the, the, the strains of this world and all the things we went through, we, we're going to be so focused on him and thanking God and praising him that we got eternal life. There will be no more sickness, no more pain, no more heartaches, no more backaches, no more worrying about this, no more stressing about this, no more goodbyes. The Bible says the increase of his kingdom, there shall be no end. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That means his kingdom is going to get better and better and better and better and better throughout all eternity. Why? Because he's perfect. The Bible says all his ways are perfect. Everything he do is perfect, precise. All powerful, all knowing. God loves you and going to be with us for all eternity. Can you imagine what we're going to be able to accomplish? So that's why the Bible says, think on those things. Think on God. Think, and think about what he's done for you. He's overcome this world. And we are his children. We've overcome too because we put our trust in him. Praise be to God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I hope this word blesses you today. And I want to let you know that God loves you with an everlasting love. Amen. Glory be to God. And we love you here at the Jesus Christ Fellowship Center. We just want to thank all of y'all for supporting us. Remember, if y'all haven't seen my videos, that's because you have to hit live in the description box to see all of our newest videos. You have to hit live because we go live four times a week. So some people have said, Brother Mike, you ain't, you ain't made a video in months. That's because we have a live broadcast where we go live every week. And if you're not in the church, we'd we'll love to have you to come out and hear what the Lord is saying. People are being healed. People are learning about the gospel. Souls are being saved. So thank y'all for supporting us here. I love you all. Thank y'all for praying for me as I will always continue to pray for you. I love y'all and I'm so blessed to have a family like y'all. Thank y'all for taking time to watch this video. And I pray that it, I pray that it will bless you today and encourage you. Amen. That many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord deliver us from them all. Amen. A-L-L. -L. All that we go through, you're not going through it by yourself. We got to remember that God lives in us. And he's made us strong. You see those those trucks, you know, built Ford Tough. You know, you, you look at that Ford commercial, the built Ford Tough. <laughs> We're built, you know, because God have made us to be tough we can endure amen so whatever you go through god have made you able to be able to to, to go through it amen because if god be for us who can be against us think about that y'all if god is in you and for you We're going to always come out on top because God cannot fail. He cannot fail and he will not fail. That's why our trust has to be in him. Because people will fail you. We fail ourselves sometimes. This world will fail you. That's why we put our trust in the eternal God who cannot fail. Amen. He's shown us throughout the Bible. All those who put their trust in the Lord was blessed. Over and over and over again. Oh, all those who put their trust in the Lord was blessed. Shall we be any different? Because we're living in 2023? No, God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. I am the Lord and I change if not. Glory be to God. Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 13, 8. He's the same. Amen. He's still on the throne. He's still fighting every battle. The Bible says, cast all your cares to him, for he cares for you. So do that. When you're in need, call upon the name of the Lord. Amen. Don't give up. The race is almost over. And God have won. We have won because our trust is in him. 
Blessed be the name of the Lord. Even so, come, Lord Jesus, come. God bless you, saints.